Hello, hey, this is Beth. Um, oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, I have had uh, several calls today. Um, I apologize for taking time out to watch Ohio State game, but uh, everybody knows uh, I love Ohio State. Uh, but to answer some of the crazy voicemails that I got on my other number... Uh, that people think are not traceable. It is so funny uh, how ignorant people are. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, somebody left on my uh, voicemail on my other line uh, um, that why do I talk about God? And then uh, recently I had uh, cussed uh, a young fella here uh, doing the auditing for the police department. Well, um Sometimes you have to discuss things in people's own uh, terms, uh, and they only understand the language that they speak. Okay? God forgives me for that. And if I need to cuss somebody else, by golly, I sure will. I sure will. Um, now that that's settled, um, let's talk about the police shuffle. Want to talk about that? Do you anybody out there know what the police shuffle is? I'll give you a minute. What is the police shuffle? It's not something you do in the end zone after scoring a touchdown. No, it's not that. The police shuffle is that if you uh, work for a certain department and you do something illegal or wrong, uh, they say, uh, if you resign uh, or you retire, uh, we won't file criminal charges against you. Okay. Well, they resign. Then they go uh, to another department. And they get a job there. Okay. Then when they do something wrong there, and they say, if you resign, we won't file any criminal charges. Okay. They resign. And they go someplace else. Now, let's be more specific, okay? Let's say you're a, a, a cop in Proctorville, okay? And you do something wrong. And uh, they, they threaten you with criminal charges. And uh, so you resign. And then you go to Chesapeake. Ohio, okay, uh, then you're there for a while, and then you uh, do something wrong, and they tell you, if you resign, we won't, we won't press criminal charges, okay, so then you go to uh, Colgrove, okay, and uh, just like Landon Hutchinson, uh, if you resign, uh, we won't file any criminal charges, well, he went to Hanging Rock, okay, now, I don't keep up on him. I don't care. Uh, I'm just trying to state to you what the police shuffle is here in the, in the area. Um, so, if, if, if you, if you, uh, they offered me the same thing. Uh, you know, J.B. Collier, um, he called my attorney, uh, Warren Morford, and he said, uh, you tell her to drop that grievance uh, or she'll be indicted tomorrow by noon. Now, now, how... Does the prosecutor know ahead of time what a grand jury is going to do? Well, maybe because they have control of that. Wouldn't you think? Um, and uh, my attorney called me and he said, Hey, uh, you want to drop that? He said, If you drop that grievance, they won't file criminal charges against you. I said, You tell him to kiss my ass. You know, I didn't do anything wrong. He can kiss my ass. So they threatened me with five years in prison. J.B. Collier did. Five years in prison for giving somebody a break on a ticket, okay? So, I fought it, and uh, we all see the result. Um, it's, public, it's public record, people. But anyway, why do these cops, um, why don't these police departments press charges? Does it look bad uh, to the citizens if you press charges on somebody for doing something wrong? No, it looks worse if you don't press charges on that police officer. Um, it looks worse, people. Um, I mean, my dear God. Um, these these cops, and now a particular case I'm working on, the cop in Portsmouth, um, uh, now these cops um, are uh, manipulating everything in each community, and nobody says anything about it. Nobody says a word. That's not good. So, um, 
I'm I'm really interested in um, one thing I didn't hear from uh, anybody on uh, running for mayor or city council. Nobody mentioned uh, police corruption, and for those police officers that ha do uh, uh, have uh, misconduct, uh, uh, do misconduct. Um, you know, why hasn't any of these people running for office mentioned that they will be held accountable? Well, everybody wants those votes uh, from the city workers, just like uh, the fire department and the police department endorsing uh, Sam Cramlett. Uh, yeah, sure, because he's the mayor, and if he gets mayor again, you, you get to keep your job. You know, I understand. I understand about everybody wanting to keep their job, uh, but everybody that is so worried about keeping their job, they don't do their job, okay? Let's talk about that, about CPS, okay? Now, let's talk about, let's say, and just like the Ryder Cash uh, uh, story that I shared. It wasn't my video. I shared it, okay? Um, it wasn't my video saying anything bad about any prosecutor or anything like that, any judge or anything like that. That was somebody else's video, okay? Now, my issue is, um, <laughs> if you uh, if you are an employee at uh, CPS at Child Protective Services, um, now I can post and I will be posting on here uh, after I get done, um, posting uh, some things about uh, the Ironton CPS in uh, several cases uh, that they have told uh, uh, the. Uh, mother or father, that they needed to try to work it out with their spouse or their ex-spouse. They need to try to work it out. Or in some cases, they even say, maybe you need some therapy. Well, are these workers at CPS licensed therapists? I don't think so. Are these workers at CPS? How do they get hired? Uh, how do they get hired? I know people that work there uh, that never had a job before. And now they 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 they're protecting your child or your children, honey. People, take those blinders off. Take them off. Take them off. Um, let me tell you something. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. You know, um, if you don't speak out about what's going on in your life or your child's life, um, that's your fault. You know, why are you afraid? to speak out to these uh, officials, you know? Our tax dollars are paying their salary, uh, just like uh, Jason uh, Walker running for Arnton School Board. I support him 100%. You know, he's he's transparent. He, he, he brought out information that people didn't know, you know? Now, you know, I, people are afraid of people like that. Now, why is that? Now, if your child goes uh, to Arnton High School or any uh, Arnton school, um, and you uh, don't vote for Jason Walker, there's a problem. There's a problem. This man's trying to be transparent. This man is uh, trying to show people uh, who's making the money, how they're making the money, and why teachers aren't paid what they're supposed to be uh, being paid. Um, I mean, it's, it, it's crazy. <clears throat> and I don't have any kids. But, buddy, I they pass that levy, and I pay... Uh, taxes on the school, I, yet I don't have any kids in the school, and that's fine. I support uh, uh, any schools in Ironton, and I absolutely adore Ironton High School. Um, I love uh, the football. I love the band. I love everything, and uh, I'm proud to be in the Hall of Fame uh, over there. Um, and it, well, it's right here across the, across the way from me. But anyway, so we talked about the police shuffle. And so how, how do these... Um, how do these cops, uh, let me see what I got here. How do these cops uh, move from, from uh, agency to agency without anything? Now, okay, this, this is an example of, uh, people have asked me, do, do any police officers uh, have to have any psychiatric uh, evaluations before they get hired? Well, no. Now, is that a state regulation? Um, well, you can Google that. G-O-O-G-L-E. And uh, you can Google that and find out. Um, now. <laughs> oh, mercy. 
um, they, uh, they sent, they wrote me four memos one day, um, just one day, okay, uh, my supervisors, and, and I started laughing, you know, when I read them, and I was right there in the dispatch area, uh, Dan Johnson was sitting there, uh, uh, Tina White, Tina Bailey, rest in peace, bless her heart, I know all about why she got in the situation she did, because they were afraid she was going to take up for me and bind an arbitration, and, and that woman lost everything to take up for me, and so, but I'll be doing a thing on her, um, a video on her, but anyway, let me see what I was talking about here, and, uh, Anyway, they, I told them they were, uh, I said, you guys are driving me crazy with this stupid bullshit uh, memos that you send me every day. And what they do, they sent me to a psychiatrist. They sent me to a psychiatrist in Portsmouth because I said, you guys are driving me crazy with this, these memos. So I went to the psychiatrist and I, I did uh, a three hour written exam. Do you want to burn yourself? Well, no, I don't want to burn myself. Uh, do you want to uh, uh, die in a car accident? Well, who wants to die in a car accident? So, no. And you check these things off, okay? So, people, uh, do you honestly think that if people want to uh, die by fire, that they're going to check yes? I mean, who who uh, maintains these uh, questionnaires uh, for psychiatric evaluation? So anyway, so I did the whole three-hour test, and um, so I went into the psychiatrist, and uh, uh, he did the the blotted paint uh, episodes, uh, and we all know about that. Uh, if, if you don't know about it, uh, make a comment, and I'll explain it to you. Okay? Uh, but they they paint, they put some paint in a paper, and they fold it, and then they open it. And then they themselves determine what you should say, what you recognize in that blood of paint picture, right? Okay. So those people, those psychiatrists, those people determine your psychic evaluation uh, from a, a blotted paint photo that they themselves determined what the right answers were. Okay. So we're sitting there and... Um, uh, the psychiatrist in Portsmouth, he, uh, he, uh, showed me a picture and he said, what do you see? And I said, I see a bug. And, uh, he said, okay. Then he opened up another picture and, uh, he said, what do you see? And I see, well, uh, and I did several, probably five or six. And, and, and then, you know, told him what I thought I saw. And then he showed me a picture of, a uh, um, red and black, uh, uh, paint, and um, I said, uh, he said, what do you see? And I said, I see a crime scene, and he went like this. He took his glasses out, and he went, hmm, interesting. <laughs> what an idiot. So anyway, uh, he said, why do you see a crime scene? I said, because I'm a cop. Now, if I was a milkman, I'd see spilt milk, wouldn't you think? And he said, you're fine. You're free, you're free to go. So there you go. Uh, let's just uh, let's just take that in for a minute. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'll be talking uh, uh, in length about therapy. And yes, I'm I'm not ashamed to say anything about uh, having therapy. Therapy has changed my life. Now it took me nine therapists to get to the right one, which is Kate. Now I'm not allowed to say her last name, um, but. Uh, for the last year and a half, almost two years, she has changed my whole life, um, my whole perspective on things. Um, everybody knows I struggled uh, with the trains uh, because of the young girls uh, back in uh, 2004 that got killed by the train. Uh, yeah, I struggled with that for years. Every time I heard a train, I, I had flashbacks of what I saw, um, and that's that's a common thing, and on that day uh, of that accident, or, or of that uh, tragedy, um, uh, I asked uh, Chief Carey, and I said, do you mind if I take a couple of days of comp time? And he said, uh, why do you need comp time? If you can't handle what you saw today, you need to get out of this business. 
Well, I think it's, uh, you can ask Shirley Manning, I believe, that used to work at the Sheriff's Department. I think you can ask her. I think it's a, a state requirement that you get debriefing if you need to talk to somebody for uh, something you witness as an officer. IPD don't offer that. They don't offer that, do they? Now, if you can uh, look that up and find out which departments actually uh, provide that, I'd like to know, cause I, I don't. I'm, I'm working on a lot of things, and I really don't have time to do that. But Shirley, if you're out there, uh, you're on my Facebook, honey. Um, send me a message on that, and uh, to verify uh, if uh, it's a required uh, thing to uh, for police departments to have a, a debriefing uh, for somebody for you to talk to. And uh, you know, if you uh, acquire a comp time and you ask for it from your supervisor, you know. If it doesn't uh, interfere with somebody's shift uh, and the worker and the, the employees or the workers, um, uh, they have to give it to you. That's why it's called uh, compensation time. Okay. Um, so anyway, okay. So I will be back on here. Uh, I got to return. It's 830 right now on Saturday night. Um, and let me answer one more question and then I'll, I'll be back at, at about 10. Let me answer one more question. Somebody uh, sent a, uh, People leaving uh, stuff on my voicemail is so funny um, on my uh, my public number. And uh, they said, do, do you get paid um, by uh, uh, the people who, who shirts you wear on your YouTube channel? Oh, my. Well, high state. Yeah, Ryan Day comes here every Friday before the game and writes me out a personal check. Are you stupid? Are you ignorant? My dear God, people. Lord have mercy. I'll be praying for you. But anyway, um, maybe there will be a day. Um, you know, you know, I'm sure Tiger Woods gets uh, tired of wearing Nike. He's been wearing it since he was five, you know. Uh, but uh, no, I do not get compensation for wearing a granny shirt or a high state shirt. Uh, but I'm going to try to just confuse you illiterate people, and I'm going to wear all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm going to wear all kinds of shirts on here. I'm going to get some crazy shirts, and I'm going to wear them just for you, okay? I'll be back in, a, in about an hour, okay? Anybody that wants to call me, um, there is a uh, list here. Um, be patient. I'll get back to you, and I will return your call tonight. Now, uh, anybody else has any more questions? Um, don't be scared. Uh, put them on Facebook. My pa my page is public. Uh, if you want to ask me a question, uh, even if it's a stupid question, go ahead and ask it. Don't be afraid to put your put your name out there and say, "Hey, you know, what were you thinking when you said this, or what were you doing when you said that?" Don't be afraid. You don't have to hide behind a username and 78W964. You don't have to hide behind that. Put your real name on there. Nobody can do anything to you. What are you people afraid of? Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. God bless. Beth Ruth, Ohio.